Hi everybody. Sunday just passed. I've decided to go down to my local rivers, the River Calder in West Yorkshire, in uh, the lovely area of Calderdale. The river itself, or the club part of the river that I fish here, is about two and a half miles. It's run by the Ryburn and Halifax Angling Society. They've got a Facebook page and a website. Uh, Facebook page, about 400 members. Um, loads of pictures of the fish that have been caught in the river and you'll get pike, chub, brown trout, grayling. Um, brown trout, biggest one to come out of here, about six pound which was a few years ago and that was on bread flake. Um, there's even been the odd sea trout being brought out of this water and there are a few rainbow trout um, they've probably got in through stock ponds being washed out because when this river floods and that branch in front of me that's a, the water can get as high as that and higher because when Hebden Bridge and Lutheran Foot and Marthen Royd, which are further up the valley when they flood it makes national news and that water has nowhere else to go but down through this section of the river uh, in Copley in fact there's a, there was a small bridge just down to my left from here that got totally taken out in 2015 and they've put a nice little modern one in there now but I only went down for an hour just a hair's ear floating line put it through some of the lengths uh, this part in front of me is only about two and a half foot across uh, but the pools can go to about three four foot deep and there are some decent head of fish in all of them 30 quid a year it costs to fish this and again it will st it does stipulate in the rule book which you can buy online via the um, the website of the Ryburn Halifax Angling Society what methods are allowed I think early season is fly and worm only up to July and then after that it's any method until the trout season finishes in September in fact this is where I hook into a grayling it slowed down, there it goes, bang, straight in. Um, but people do spin, people do um, float fishing, maggots, spinners, as I say, any method. Just read through the rule book, it tells you what you can do and when you can really? do it or what months you can do it in. All fish to be returned, you can't keep any of the fish, which That's is good when. because it's there for the next person that catches. As I say, I've fished here since 1984. I've not been for a couple of years. Um, back in the late 70s, this river used to be all manner of colours um, because of pollution. Um, I've had, or I've seen, the, the river get completely wiped out. But it comes back. Um, it will come back and, do the, and so do the fish. This area here runs off to some nice rapids as well and um, it's all wadeable and there is a nice footpath that travels from the area of Copley all the way up to Sobe Bridge so you can walk you can park a car in Copley walk up and just drop down onto the bank uh, or get into the river and I've seen many people start off say where I am now and they will just walk up the river it, it may get up to your chest or just below but on a summer's day like this I think it's about two and a half foot three foot deep in parts except for the pools that some of them can be quite deep and again if you're wading up here just watch out because when it does get flooded all manner of things get flooded down this river with it so there will be some obstacles in it but anyway lovely little river 30 quid a year thanks very much for watching